Then, you know, the piece was not named by Chopin, but by critics of his time. And he wrote this, believe it or not, he was born in 1810. He wrote it 1832, okay? So he's a young man. It's, it's beautiful, it's expressive, and it was nicknamed Tristesse, which means sadness, and another critic called it Les Adieux, the goodbye, the farewell. So there's a beautiful emotional melody here. And the one thing I wanted to um, kind of refine, because you do it well, but you're very gifted, you can do it slightly better, is that the melody in any music is only gonna be one note at a time. Think about singing, whether you sing in church, whether you sing in school, it's like, you can only have a one melody line note, okay? So the big thing is that you want to feel as though that is so expressive and exposed the way that you like it, okay? So the technical difficulty is that the rhythmic motif that kind of keeps this piece going, just like in Mozart, you'd say, oh, he's got the Alberti. So in this, which is almost like a nocturne, okay? So Chopin decided that the pulse is going to be the 4 16ths. And later, when he is like moving to the second part, he uses the same 4 16ths. The problem for pianists here is, how do we not play it too loud? OK? So I would feel almost like Mrs. Taubman had a nice way of putting it. Sometimes she'd say, all right, like just feel as though your arm is speaking the melody, meaning that you're going to be walking from one note to the other. So feel like your arm kind of goes down and down and down. So I need a little bit more arm when I go da 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 ya. How are you? It is great. And on the inner note, could you just try to literally play them as though you have control, don't leave the surface. And again, just feel a, a subtle rocking. It's like two people in a play or in a choir. And the altos go, da, da, de, da, da. and the soprano, there's only one star in the opera, she's singing out. Try that because I feel you, sometimes you're great at it, and sometimes it's like they kind of converse and they get excited. Try making that one and two a little softer if you could. Okay, your melody is nice. Could we just do the accompaniment gentle like a lullaby, like there's a little baby sleeping on the couch in the same room? And don't let the surface top lose contact with the fingertip. Feel the, it's actually, it's kind of left and right.
system with the springs and it's going to respond to you. So you just have to feel how far down do I have to go. Now the other thing I'd like to throw out there, this is just like an idea of mine. The way the piece is written is very unusual. He doesn't start on a downbeat. And look at measures one, two, three, four, five. Where do you have the accent? On one or on two? On two. Yes. So in order to help the flow, this is just like a thing I'm going to advise you. Like feel like you have to get to the second So. I, I would suggest trying that. I just think that it's, it's 
like a, it's the beautiful solo moment. Then the piece, as it progresses, it's interesting that the underlying motif that we talked about, the four sixteenths, that are like the heartbeat of this piece. Take a look at it, going, 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 going. It's just like, has there been a measure without the four sixteenths? No. But the, the beauty of us as trying to do the best performance that we can is to know when to bring them out and when not to, because otherwise they can be interrupted. Okay? So then, over here, I again, I go five, four, five, and I group from the three, the last 16. place on 
on measure. You did it very well. Like I say, your bravura sections were very good. But do you feel like when you play on forte, on forte six, do you feel like when you was that the place that you said maybe feels tight? Yes. Okay. So what I want you to do, first of all, always look at the score, see what the notes are. It's just kind of, you have to see, make believe you're in the head of the composer. So what do we have here, really? D and B, right? Right? And D and B. So we're playing the same notes in both hands. Now I have G sharp and F, right? And G sharp and F. So the only thing I'm going contrary motion, and then I shouldn't pick up, because again, it's like searching for Sam or a crossword puzzle. After I do this, do the replacement. You see, my left hand had the F natural. Now my right hand needs that F natural. Now, I'm so close because I see the chromaticism. And then my left hand had the D sharp, and my right hand's going to steal it away. The left hand and the right's gonna kind of say, I want it now. I'd like to share that note. So that it's, it's happening thumb to thumb. My thumb on the F becomes my thumb on the right. My thumb on the left becomes my thumb on the right. It's a game plan. Try that. Jeanette Hain. A lot of people never heard of her. She was Murray Pariah's childhood teacher. Jeanette Hain, H-A-I-E-N. And she had one thing that she recommended in the measure eight, uh, if you turn to it, um, when you have the, uh, I can go back to the seven. It makes it look 
legato very easy to play, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. So, it will, I hope because uh, the ideas that I gave you are not hard to kind of add to what you're already doing, which is a beautiful performance. How old are you? I am 16. Oh, wow. So this is like a lot of 16-year-olds This wouldn't get to this kind of a challenge. <laughs> so give you really, bravo. Um, I would say the most important thing here is the elegant 16th note pattern that actually the, the composer, as you say, like if you just look at the music, it's there, it's there, it's there. And until he kind of gets uh, emotional and erratic on measure uh, 30, he stays with it. And then he really doesn't lose the 16th notes. It's his signature of the calmness and sometimes it's the storm. But when it's supposed to be calm, keep it calm and sing the beautiful melody line. Because it is like a, a nocturne kind of a melody. Okay, it's an old time favorite. Thank you, Frederick. That was a pleasure. Thank you. Yay.